Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and we are continuing our discussion of the structure of the atom. Um, and today we're going to talk about the discovery of the atomic nucleus. So the nucleus was discovered by Ernest Rutherford in 1911. There's Ernest Rutherford. And he determined that the nucleus of the atom is positively charged. He also determined that there was mass in the nucleus. Um, and his experiment was called the gold foil experiment. This is what it looked like. He had a radioactive source of polonium, and the polonium gives off positively charged particles. They're called alpha particles. And he shot this beam of positive particles at a piece of gold foil that was surrounded by a fluorescent screen. And he expected that since uh, atoms were mostly very tiny and they thought empty space, he expected the beam to go uh, straight through the gold foil. And what he was surprised at was that the beam actually was deflected at a wide angle and in some cases shot straight back at his, uh, his source. So he concluded that there must be positive charge there. So I have here a, um, a link to the experiment and so I'm going to pause for a moment and then show you this experiment. In Rutherford's scattering, a beam of alpha particles pictured in red is ejected towards a gold foil target surrounded by a circular blue detecting screen. Alpha particles scattered by the gold can be seen as spots of light hitting the detector at different locations. As we zoom into the gold foil, we can see in this magnified view that occasionally an alpha particle will collide with a gold nucleus pictured as black dots and get scattered. This experiment established that atoms consist of a very small central core of heavy protons and neutrons surrounded by very light electrons. Thus, most of an atom's volume is empty space. So, as the video showed, most of the alpha particles go straight through. Um, they are positively charged alpha particles and they are being deflected off of the nucleus. And again, this is a recreation of the experiment. And what that video was showing here is if these are the atoms and the red dots are the nuclei, and then the yellow haze would be your electrons. And again, as the alpha particles are going through, if they're far enough from the nucleus, they are not deflected. But as they get close to the nucleus, they're, uh, positive charge is going to be deflected by the positive nucleus and if it's a direct hit they're going to bounce back. So in Rutherford's own words he said it was as if you had fired a 15 inch artillery shell at a piece of tissue paper and it came back and hit you. The takeaway from his experiment was that the nucleus is very small and that if the nucleus were a marble and we sat it in a football field like uh, Lincoln Financial Field, the size of the nucleus compared to the rest of the atom would be a marble sitting at the 50-yard line. That would be the nucleus, and the rest of the entire stadium would be the rest of the atom, which would be the electron cloud. So protons are the positively charged particles in the nucleus. Their mass was determined to be 1.673 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. That's roughly 1,800 times the heavier or the size of an electron. And again, if you'll recall, here's my Jimmy Neutron um, atom. We're talking about the nucleus at this point, and we're talking about the proton. And we know that there was some other particle present in the nucleus that accounted for all of that mass. And that is the neutron, so that's what we'll talk about next. The discovery of the neutron, which is the neutral subatomic particle, uh, they were discovered by Sir James Chadwick. There he is. He won a Nobel Prize in Physics in 1935 for his discovery of the neutron. And again, he determined that their mass was nearly the same as a proton, for all intents and purposes, the same as a proton. Um, the mass being 1.675, 
also times 10 to the negative 27 kilogram. And I have an animation of his experiment, so I'm going to pause and then show you that. Neutrons were discovered in 1932 by the English physicist James Chadwick. Chadwick bombarded a thin foil made of beryllium with a stream of alpha particles that were emitted by one of the radioactive isotopes of polonium. He observed that high energy radiation consisting of massive particles was emitted from the foil as a result of this bombardment. The particles were deflected neither in an electric nor in a magnetic field, so they bore no electrical charge. The newly discovered particle was named the neutron. So, continuing with the composition of the atomic nucleus, neutrons, their symbol is N superscript 0. They are the subatomic particles with no charge. Their mass is nearly the same as a proton at 1.675 times 10 to the negative 27 kilogram. And again, now we can have a more complete picture of the atom with our electrons outside the nucleus and the protons and the neutrons inside the nucleus. So a summary of the subatomic particles. So here we have a summary of the particles with their symbol, the relative charge, their relative mass in atomic mass units, and their actual mass in kilograms. So the electron symbol E superscript negative. The charge is minus one. The relative mass is one eighteen hundredth of, roughly of an AMU. And their true mass is nine times 10 to the negative 31. Proton P superscript plus sign, charge of one, relative mass one and actual mass is 1.7 roughly times 10 at the negative 27 and the neutron is uh, symbol is uh, n superscript 0 relative charge is 0 relative mass is 1 so the same as the proton and again the mass is almost identical 1.7 times 10 to the minus 27 so a simpler way to do this for our purposes, the electron is going to be E minus charge minus one mass zero proton P plus charge plus one relative mass one neutron N zero charge zero relative mass one. So that is our summary of the subatomic particles and we've learned about the discovery of the nucleus today. For now, this is Ms. Augustine signing off.